It's my birthday. I can cry if I want to. Guys, it's my birthday. Happy Crumble Cookie Monday. It is also my birthday today. It's not yesterday that I'm celebrating today. It's not tomorrow that I'm celebrating today. It is my actual birthday, December 19th, 1993, your girl was born. Happy Crumble Cookie Monday. You know what is so ironic is that Crumble Cookie must have known it was my birthday because there is birthday cake and they put holiday in like parentheses because there's holiday sprinkles, but there's birthday cake. Crumble Cookie definitely knew it was my birthday and they were like, you know what? we are gonna put a birthday cake one there for her per usual this is my monday routine i just came from my boyfriend's house and i stopped at my favorite crumble cookie location in attleboro i got to see my friends there is some amazing flavors that i'm like are you guys sure that you didn't know it was my birthday this is the birthday cake i'll show you guys ready we'll do our normal routine i'm just getting so excited okay birthday cake and it says in parentheses holiday and it's just because there's those pretty little holiday sprinkles. It's just very beautiful. We also have Snickerdoodle. Snickery doodle, snickery egg. I love a good Snickerdoodle. We also have eggnog. Da 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 da. That just looks so pretty. That smells like straight up eggnog. We also have the red velvet. Mmm, we love a good red velvet. And then I'm most excited for frozen hot chocolate. This is definitely a chilled cookie along with the eggnog is a chilled cookie. And I got two of them because I was very excited for them. Anyways, so I think it's most appropriate that I start with the birthday cake because your girl is 20. A bird just flew right past my windshield because your girl just turned 29 today. We'll break this bad boy open. Oh, 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 and it didn't even rip and fall apart everywhere. I would want this over a birthday cake any day. That is, that is beautiful. Mmm. So let's talk about birthday plans. I'm working. <laughs> However, this past weekend, um, Sunday night, I went out with my parents and my boyfriend, and it was so much fun. And we went to a place called Bayberry Garden, and it was good. It was very bougie, but it was good. And then we went to, um, what did I do in the morning? I did a Yankee swap with some friends then Saturday night, I did a Secret Santa with my friends. Ooh, it's warm. And that was so much fun. And they got me a birthday cake, and it was very cute, and they sang happy birthday to me. It's always hard having a December birthday because it's during the worst time of the year where, best time of the year, but like worst for timing. Just because people are so busy. People are always doing things. Especially with my birthday being so close to Christmas. Like Christmas is in five days, which is bonkers to me. Um, let's break this snickerdoodle open, open and I'll keep talking. Woo! I got it in the box. So yeah, it's just, it just makes things so much harder to plan things. So I was really grateful that my friends wanted to do that. And then Friday, Nick and I went shooting at a gun range and I felt more comfortable with one of the guns that they had. Um, and I've done it once before and, uh, it was cool. It was a fun little experience. And then we went out to eat at BJ's brew house represent. This looks fluffy. Oh, that's a pretty cookie. I like this. It's not very sweet, but the cinnamon, yeah, the cinnamon sugar at the top is what really adds a sweetness the inside of the cookie is more like buttery soft moist it's a very pretty cookie it's very like i don't know if light is the right word but it kind of tastes like light to me yeah that tastes like light and 
pretty and I could have like a few more without it being like overly sweet. Big fan. All right, next up, we're doing the red velvet. I love a good red velvet. Isn't red velvet really just like chocolate to an extent, right? But then they just put like cream cheese essentially. Isn't that what it is? Mm. Oh, it's yummy. Oh, good. I need a napkin. Yes, I do. I need a napkin. How about you? That's a really nice, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. The chips just melt in your mouth. I like it. I like it a lot. I like, so far, the other two a little more. But it's not because this is bad. It's just because... I think I've had this 400 billion times at this point. It's a very good cookie though. The phenomenal cookie as some would say. Woo, it's getting a little warm. The hair had to go up, 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 up. So I have some exciting things going on potentially in the end of January. I can't say what, uh, but potentially just some really exciting things. I can't wait to share them with you. I will be posting things. Um, Still, I'll kind of schedule them out. However, I won't be able to do the crumble cookie reviews potentially if this goes through because I won't be around to do them. However, I'm really excited. I can't wait to share more with you guys once I actually figure everything out. But just some really exciting things. I think 29 will be a really great year. I'm hoping it will be. I think there, I think 2022 where obviously I was 28 years old. I think a lot of cool things have happened and it kind of set up the groundwork for what the next year will bring. And I'm excited. Eggnog. This is, a, oh, this is a bendy cookie. She didn't want to break very easily. She was a little stubborn. Oops. Okay. That tastes exactly like eggnog. That tastes like I literally just poured a gallon of eggnog into this cookie and now I'm eating it. I think one of the cool notes about this eggnog one, honestly, is the like nutmeggy, cinnamony powder that's on the top. And it even looks like there's little bits of like, that they're not actually powder in some cases. There's like little bits of it. It just gives it a very like raw and authentic taste to eggnog. I'm a big fan. Let's see, is this too bright? That made no difference whatsoever. <laughs> Last but not least, I got not one, but two frozen hot chocolates. And I can't wait to have them. I wanted to show that this matched my vest. I got this vest as a Secret Santa gift from my friend Heather. I love her very much. Brown has been my vibe kind of recently. So here, ew, yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm shedding, but the answer is yes, Y-E-S, yes. That is a beautiful cookie. I'll tell you why. So the base of the cookie, it's very rich. It tastes like this beautiful piece of like a moist chocolate cake. The frosting tastes just like you took hot chocolate and you whipped it real quick and then it became this. Like it's very, it's light, it's airy. It, it's like, it's just a very pretty, um, like, neutral chocolate flavor. I don't know how to explain it. The best thing that I can do to explain it is that it is literally whipped, whipped hot chocolate. It's hot chocolate whipped all together and they put it on top of this beautiful cookie and then they threw some marshmallows on it because why the hell not? That's a win in my book. So recap, favorite cookie. I want you guys to guess in three, two, one. I think my favorite cookie is this frozen hot chocolate. It is so, so good. That is delicious. 
I think my second favorite is hmm, the birthday cake I've had before, but I just really love it. I don't know if I'm being biased because it's also my birthday, but I, I actually really do love that cookie. And then third, we're gonna do, hmm, third we'll do red velvet, fourth is snickerdoodle. I really do love it though. I just, it's so hard because there's so many good flavors. And then fifth is the eggnog. The eggnog is really good. It tastes so authentic to what it really is. Like I said, it's just hard because there's so many good flavors this week. That is your crumble cookie review for this week. I love you guys so very much. Thank you so much as always for hanging out with me. I bought my own birthday cake this year. I love it. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next Crumble Cookie Monday review. And it won't be my birthday, unfortunately, but it'll be okay. I love you guys so much. Bye.